Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use FrontPage as an HTML editor for websites and pages that were originally created in another application or on another computer. In order to do this, FrontPage must import the site or page. The easiest way to import an entire website into FrontPage is by using the Import Website Wizard. You can find this with the other website templates and wizards. So if you remember, file in the menu bar, then New, then click the More Website Templates link in the task pane. Then in the Website Templates dialog box, click Import Website Wizard. The first screen of the wizard gives you options for specifying where the website to be imported is located, either on the internet or on your local computer or network. There are several options for importing via the internet, each with somewhat different options, requirements, and limitations. Two of the most common ways to import via the internet are FTP and HTTP. When you select an option, you'll notice that the fields at the bottom of the wizard change slightly to let you enter locations and select options specific to that importing protocol. If you are importing from your local computer or network, select File System and then you can click the Browse button to locate the file on your computer or network. If you select one of the other options, enter the full URL of the page or site in the Website Location field. If the server the site or page is located on requires you to sign in using a secure connection, select the Encrypted Connection Required checkbox. However, if this is not required, be sure to leave this box clear. When you're finished here, click Next. You may be asked to enter your username and password to access the web space you specified. You can use the Back button at any time to go back and change an answer or specification that you've set on a previous screen of the wizard. The next screen of the wizard gives you the option to import the site into the current site, import it to a different site, or to create a new site with the imported files. The default setting is to import it to the current site, but to import it somewhere else, deselect the Add to Current Website checkbox, and either enter the path to the folder you want the site imported to, enter the path to a new folder to be created for the site, or click the Browse button to select a folder for the site. When you're finished here, click Next. The next screen of the wizard gives you some options for limiting what and how much is imported. However, in order to import an entire site, be sure all of the options here are deselected. When you're finished, click Next. The last screen of the wizard simply lets you know when you're finished with the wizard. To start importing the site, click the Finish button. When the import process is finished, front page will display the folders view so you can see all of the files that were imported. Another way to import a page or file from your local hard drive or network is to click File in the menu bar and then click Import. Then in the Import dialog box, click Add File to navigate to the location of the file you'd like to add. Once you select the file, click Open. Once you've added all of the necessary files, click OK. If you import a page or file into a site and a file in that site already has the same name, 
Front page will ask if you want to overwrite the existing file with the imported one. Be sure you understand the consequences of overwriting a file before you select an option here. Also, when front page imports a site, it automatically renames the home page, also known as the front or default page, to index.htm. This is the most common name for a home page and the one that most web servers recognize. However, you can rename it to conform to the requirements of your web hosting service if necessary.